Hello, I'm Johannes. We're in uh, Bereshai, outside of Ramallah in Palestine, and uh, we're going to start to play a LARP called Till Death Do Us Part, about a marriage between a Palestinian woman and a Norwegian man. And we're just going to enter ga the game, and uh, I'm playing uh, Åke, the uncle of the Norwegian group. And uh, it's going to be an interesting play with a lot of focus on cultural differences and uh, the kind of personal drama that transpires at a wedding. So we're here with Martin Nilsson, one of the organizers, and the LARP is just starting. And what are your thoughts and feelings right now? Now we have been uh, workshopping for one day, the full day yesterday, and uh, a few hours today. And I feel that our group of players are getting into it. I feel that they have very much uh, contributed to this game by doing the workshops and the exercises, making it their own stories. And I really look forward to seeing this come alive. And I'm really happy with the group of players we have. I, I think this can be a wonderful story where everyone are contributing. <laughs> I'm Peter, I'm playing the character of Tommy Nyquist, which is uh, the cousin of Harald, who is getting married, the groom. Uh, it's uh, the second day of the, of the LARP, and uh, yesterday was a day full of um, uh, traditions of uh, different kinds. This is mainly like a Palestinian wedding compiled uh, and uh, with some Nordic stuff put into it. So yesterday we had uh, for, uh, for the groom, for Harald, who's getting married, we had a um, Turkish bath, which is a sort of Palestinian tradition, and we had uh, a more Nordic bachelor party tradition, uh, which is uh, uh, dressing him up uh, in a dress and doing silly things. Kulub, what do you think of Princess Harald? Yes. What? Very beautiful. You mean she is very beautiful? Yes, she is very beautiful. Uh, it was really nice and uh, lots of cultural conflicts to play around that. Um, while the girls uh, instead had uh, a thing called a henna party, which is uh, lots of dancing around in a circle and uh, drawing things. I don't know, I was only uh, allowed to watch a, a bit because it was gender separated. <laughs> I would just like to say the feeling right now is that I'm really, really impressed by the, all the players. The Nordics um, are doing really well and I get some really good game, but uh, many of them are, have, have done LARP before. Not all, but many of them. So I know quite a bunch and it's really nice to game with them again. But uh, among the Palestinian players, there's so many players who have never done a LARP before never been into a LARP and they're doing so well. I'm seeing such good game, I'm getting so good interaction and such a variety of things to play around and, um, and the inputs we get in this game. So I'm really looking forward to the second day and, uh, and that uh, Harald and Kulud are of course getting married later this evening. <laughs> It's Anders here again, and we've just finished the LARP. And um, it's been a very emotional experience. We just had the debrief, and now we're having the after party. And uh, it's what a, it was a really good experience uh, for everyone, it seems. And for me, especially, I had a strong emotional experience from the LARP and the whole trip. And it's going to be very interesting and probably hard to land from this in the next couple of days. Hi. My name is Helene, I'm from Denmark. Uh, at the, the LARP Till Death Do Us Part, I was playing Elizabeth, a co-worker to Harald, who was uh, going to get married. I really enjoyed the game, it was a lot of fun, much more than I anticipated in the beginning. Um, the thing that surprised me the most was that uh, the whole cultural differences and the, the language barriers and so on actually created more game than it uh, prevented us from playing together with the Palestinians 
So that was uh, amazing and wonderful and great. Hello, my name is Riyad. I am uh, from Palestine. Uh, it was a pleasure to participate uh, uh, in uh, the LARP in uh, Palestine with the Palestinian Nordic uh, wedding. Uh, I was playing uh, Samer. Samer was uh, the father of the bride and it really was nice uh, to participate in uh, this LARP. Uh, very wonderful moments in uh, this LARP, uh, especially uh, the meeting between uh, different cultures and uh, how it's not easy uh, uh, to negotiate uh, a lot of things in, uh, in, in the wedding. Uh, I want to say that uh, it was uh, really uh, a nice experience. It was my first experience in uh, LARP, in a long uh, LARP. Uh, I like it and I hope I will participate in another uh, LARPs. Uh, to tell you more about uh, this game and uh, my feeling, uh, sometimes uh, uh, it went like it's a real uh, wedding and I uh, feel it and uh, you know, uh, it, it, it was for me uh, uh, really not fun only, but uh, real game, uh, uh, real uh, play, and uh, I, I like it. So um, uh, I will LARP, and I will be part of uh, LARP uh, always. Thank you. Hi, my name is Annika, and I played Caroline, the father of the groom's new girlfriend. This was my first LARP, and it was completely mind-blowing. It feels good to be uh, done with this, with the week and with the LARP. Uh, it's been uh, hard sometimes, but most of the time it's been really fun. We have been 11 people, 6 from Palestine, 5 from Norway, making this together. It's been a great group, uh, sometimes difficult to coordinate, but I think we managed quite well in the end. And I'd like to uh, express my appreciation for all those who have invested in this, both the organizers but also the players. Palestinian players who dared to go to something they didn't really know what was, and Nordic players who have traveled several thousand miles for their own costs to, to play this. So thanks a lot to everyone for believing in, in this 